Alright guys, I have two solar panels to talk about today. Here we have the uh, Goal Zero Nomad 7. This is a 7 watt uh, solar panel and the output is 7 watts, but I'll tell you some bad things about this solar panel. So here we have it. It has uh, two solar panels and then it has a pocket here which I've gone ahead and just put a uh, backup battery and uh, some cords into. This solar panel has no actual battery on it, it just is the panel itself. And to use it, you have a USB, you have a Guide 10 plug, which is a little circular plug, and then you have a 12 volt where you can put a car adapter. The bad thing about this solar panel is the only thing it charges at 7 watts in full power is this tiny little circular plug for their specific Goal Zero uh, Guide 10 power pack, which uses nickel metal hydrate batteries double-A rechargeable pack, I'd much rather use my own backup battery like this. The problem is, with this Nomad 7, the USB port doesn't get full power. It actually only charges at about 0.5 amps max, or 500 MA max. So it's actually, even though it has 7 watts of power and such, it only gives the, the total power to certain places. It doesn't give it to the USB. So that means the highest charge speed I have this is, uh, is like a computer. It's 0.5 amp very slow. So this is 7 watts but slow USB. So now we have my better unit which is smaller. This is only 4 watts. This has some extra features though. This is 4 watts. As you can see it's very small little solar panel and as you can see here it has a 2000 milliamp internal battery. That's to keep it self charged and to keep the flow um, from the solar panel going to your phone consistently so if shades go over, I mean if uh, clouds go over and shade it for a second phone will keep charging or whatever you're charging because it's USB port, the only one on the system is right here on the side of the battery pack so what this will actually do is always keep the little battery pack charged this is kind of just like a little buffer battery pack 2000 milliamps and it keeps that charge while you're using it so you have a consistent flow of equal power going out to your device so that's nice so what I'd usually do is use this and plug it into my phone or even plug it into a battery backup and charge up a battery backup. As you can see here too, I'm going to show you guys outside really quick. It is cloudy. You can't see the sun. It's all hazy. So I want you guys to see the difference. Let me open up this uh, Goal Zero and let me plug in my power it's not charging not charging if it was charging the these lights would if it was charging these lights would light up and trying to get in the sun it is not charging let me go ahead and show you this little guy it has a built-in battery pack as we saw and the built-in battery pack when it's charging starts lighting up here to show you it's charging so we're gonna put it in the same place and it's cloudy out right when I open it it starts charging this thing has better panels for low sun very low sun here guys it's, there's no sun out it's completely overcast and this thing is charging the backup battery again if we go ahead and plug in the uh, battery pack of course this has a backup battery as a buffer so it's always gonna kind of work let me go ahead and plug this in and as you can see now we're charging both might be hard to see this one on camera. This one's really faint, but I could see it here. This one moved down to 1 to 2 instead of 2 to 3 because now it feels the uh, power straining here. But as you can see, they're both charging in very low sun. Way better. <clears throat> my, uh, like I said, my Nomad did not charge that good if there was any type of overcast. So this got overcast and it's working. This is smaller. I'd say that this uh, Instapark 4S Mercury is about the size of a 7 inch tablet. It's just about the size of a 7 inch tablet. And then my Goal Zero here, I know it's almost exactly the size of an 8.9 inch tablet, like the Kindle Fire HD 8.9. It's almost the exact same dimensions as a 8, 8, uh, 8 inch tablet, 8.9 inch. So the thing is about this, which I didn't go into fully, is this outputs at 1 amp. And it actually <coughs> it actually has a maximum output of 800 milliamps to the battery so 800, 800 or 0.8 amp is actually higher than the Goal Zero to begin with 
But then once it's in the battery, the battery has a uh, uh, is the ability to put out at one amp. So you're actually going to get a one amp charge out of this as you're using it. Pretty darn neat. So really like this guy. Smaller, charges faster, better USB. Even though it's less wattage, it picks up more uh, than the uh, Goal Zero does. So I might have had a little bit of like uh, confusingness there. Uh, you know how the electronics work, but basically, even though this is a bigger pad, more watts, the USB is not as strong. Even though this is a smaller pad, it's got more USB power. So this is the one to go with if you just need to charge some USB devices. Um, it's called the Mercury 4S. There's also an Instapark 10, which has dual one amp USB ports, no battery on it, just dual one amp USB ports, and that's a really good one too, the Instapark 10. So you can look at those. Um, I'll put a link to this one and the 10 in the description. Goal Zero Nomad 7, I would not recommend. It was good a few years ago, but now newer products have come out. So, just wanted to talk about those, and we'll see you guys later.